subscribe. What's going on everyone? Nathan here, back at you with another video. So I am here at the Rogue's Den in Birth Rope. Underneath the inn, right where the um, red star is. That is the Rogue's Den. Now, I've done this maybe seven or eight times and finished the maze. And I have already have a full set of the Rogue's Gear. So, I am going to show you guys how to complete the maze. So, in order to get into the maze, you need to talk to this guy right here, Brian O. Richard. And you need no gear, no potions, nothing at all in your inventory. And walk on through. As soon as you walk on through, you will have a mystic jewel. Which, I think it just keeps track of all the stuff you do inside the maze. So go ahead, turn your toggle to run. And as soon as you go through, go through the bars. Once you're through the bars, go ahead and click and go through the pendulum. Now here, go into the center of the stairs and click right in the middle. One more step and complete through. Now from here, you can go ahead and click on the gate. Click right there. Now you can, there's two ways you can go through this. You can go to the right for three spaces or go to the left for two. So I'm going to go to the left, boom and boom. Now I, I'm going to, there is uh, traps right two spaces ahead of me and four spaces ahead of me. So I'm going to walk up one and then run three. Now from here you can go ahead and click the ledge right there to climb past it. Once you've climbed past it, keep on heading west and then head north to the four saws. Go ahead and click on one of the saws, jump past it. Go through one of these pendulums. Go across the plank. Now here you have four traps on the ground. You can only run over three traps at a time. So right click the first floor trap, search it, and you will disable it. So now run across all three. Now from here you want to go into this passageway. Now you have a saw in front of you, jump over the saw. Now there's no traps from here, so go ahead and enter the next passageway. Alright, from here you want to come out here, go in by this pillar. Now there are traps here on the walls, so you want to start off right here. Click two spaces ahead of you, click one space ahead of you, two spaces ahead of you, and then diagonal southeast. Then from here you can go ahead and click on the passageway. Now the only thing on this one is this rotating blade. So go ahead and open up the gate. Run to the pillar. 
And once you know you're not going to hit the blade, go ahead and click on the ledge. Now climb across the ledge. And once you're done climbing across, you will end up right here where there's another trap. There's four wall traps here. And you can only go over three at a time. So right click the first wall, search it, disable the trap, and then run straight ahead. Now from here, I always go to this one right here. Jump across the saw blade and into the room. Now in this room, there are four puzzle pieces. You want to uh, collect the most southern, southeastern uh, tile, which is this one right here. It's always that one. So pick up the tile, click on the wall, click on the tile, and then that will open up the gate. Go ahead and go into the next room. Now this door sequence, you want to go south, directly east, the northeast, the southeast, directly south, The north, west, and then south. Now you threw that. Now there's two pathways here. You want to take the right path. Put that over there. And you can keep on going for a little while. Now right here, there's some more wall traps. So you want to make sure you stand right there. Run across all these. Then you can click on the gate and go through the next. Three traps here. Run across these. Open up the gate. Three more traps. And a pendulum. Now from here, you want to take the left path. And there are four traps. So it goes trap, space, trap, space. Trap, space, trap, space. So with the, uh, the three trap rule, go ahead and click on the middle. Click towards the end. Gone through that. Keep on heading north. And this is basically the same thing. Click on the middle. Click at the end. Now go ahead and advance into the next room. There's two piles of flash powder. Go ahead and pick up the most southeastern flash powder. Now you want to make sure your run is on so the rogue guard does not attack you and you have to start all over. So click on the flash powder. Click on the guard, and run. Now that you're past him, go through pendulum number one, pendulum number two, and congratulations, you completed the Rogue's Den maze. Now you can click on any of these like locks, the wall safes and unlock it. It don't matter what. So once you crack the wall safe, you'll get a box or rogue equipment. Or it 
could be nothing. So I just got another box. Open it up. I can either have a piece of rogue equipment or a rogue kit. The rogue equipment is what I am going for so I can double my uh, thieving for NBCs. Or I can get a rogue kit, which if I use it, I can either get a, a spade, rope, a tinder box, any, anything along those lines. So that is the Rogue's Den Maze. I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. And see you guys in the next one. See ya.